What up, what up, what up? Beautiful day. Anywho, I just wanted to make this quick video explaining uh, how ridiculously gullible I can be. <laughs> and how, you know, I don't know nothing. <laughs> Yesterday I woke up, first thing I woke up to was my brother sent me this, you know, news article about uh, Elon Musk accept accepting AMC stock as... Uh, as payment for Tesla and then so whatever I googled it real quick found the article I didn't even read it I skimmed it and I was just like what but it didn't surprise me because I'm like man these this guy is always up to freaking something <laughs> and then uh what's it called uh Lou from Wall Street or whatever he's uh he I saw he posted on Twitter or something like that the same thing tagging Elon Musk or whatever but I just didn't get that it was a joke you know there there I go being gullible and ridiculous so never listen to me, never take my advice. I'm not really giving advice or whatever. I just give you my own personal experience or whatever. And really these videos are for me so I can look back and be like, wow, cool. I, uh, that's where I was at that point in time or whatever. But anywho, it's a beautiful day hanging out with my boy. Just cut the lawn. And uh, yeah, everything's good. I started down kind of another little rabbit hole last night too about... Oh, man, it's like, here we go again. Like, Facebook is just, I mean, not Facebook, YouTube is just like, you gotta, whatever you receive, you know, from what you're researching, you gotta kind of squint your eye and, man, this dude that I saw, that I caught up on yesterday or whatever, that kind of woke me up a little bit, you gotta ask questions, you gotta ask questions, you gotta ask questions, and uh, so that's where I'm at with that because deception is thick this day and age and there's always these people being placed in front of you that you're supposed to trust and, and accept as a leader and this and that and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, ultimately, man, you lead yourself. Like, uh, you know, uh, aside from religious affiliations, Christ leading you, Christ being the head, blah, blah, whatever. But you're in control. We have free will. So ultimately, we lead ourselves through our own decisions. All of our decisions have consequences. So that's why we need to tread carefully. And I think there's even a scripture in the Bible that says, be careful how you hear. You know, our eye gates, be careful what you pass through your eye gate. Be careful what you pass through your ear gates. Be careful what you speak. You know, be careful what you receive in your heart and be careful what you, you know, adopt in your mentality. But anyways, God is so tremendously good. I'm so blessed and, uh, and you know, just woke me up. Got to take a step back and just got to master the basics, you know, work hard, save money, invest, but invest wisely. You know what I mean? Do your due diligence, research, and uh, inspect what you expect. That's what my pops used to say. So uh, anyways, God is good. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> and it's always going to be that way. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Wow, look how look how blessed I am. I haven't showed anybody this, by the way, with the exception of like, you know, family in reality. But this is where I'm at right now as far as being blessed. And you don't even know my story. Nobody knows my story. Maybe one day I'll, I'll put it out there or whatever. But, you know, I have to be in like a mode or a mood where I want to talk about me and this and that and the other thing. But uh, I used to live in a barn. And the top level of a barn that was a converted apartment and uh you know struggling alcoholic smoking weed all the time uh you know m pornography man my testimony is uh something else i'm just like everybody else everybody's screwed up here i don't care who you are what you say you can't fool me otherwise if you're a human being your heart's beating in your chest we're all messed up to one degree or another it could be as little as uh, thinking thoughts you don't want to think, you know, from time to time or, you know, temptation, you know what I mean? Whatever uh, reasoning in your own mind, you know, oh, if I do this, nobody will know, blah, 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 whatever. But uh, man, so tremendously blessed. My boy's over here. But anyways, that's for another video, another thing, whatever, if I so feel like it in the future. Privacy is so tremendously important. <laughs> Uh, 
you know, it's something that we just like kind of throw away these days. We just let everybody in and check out our stuff and we announce our moves. We announce our plays, right? We, uh, we're, we tell everybody everything. We give everybody the, the play-by-play like we're a sports announcer. Oh, I'm going to go do this. And oh, he's going to do that. Oh, does it, man, sometimes you just got to do, right? And then after you do, you got to, you know, eventually when you're st- stable, you got that stability, then you share, you know, because like, I don't know, I think it says somewhere in the Bible too. Don't let your right hand know what your left hand's doing. Man, sometimes you just got to be like that. And how foolish are we, especially in this day and age where privacy is so scarce, that we actually announce and tell the enemy who, you know, or we give the enemy access to our lives, to our inner workings and to what we're doing. So all that's messed up, all that's nonsense. And, uh, and yeah, privacy, man, got to love it. But at the same time, being transparent. But nothing's more important. I, I'm going to say this again and again. Nothing is more important than living in the reality, real world, real life, you know, instead of hiding behind a screen or just focusing on being behind a screen or experiencing life behind a screen or having relationships with people behind screens, you know, this dude was talking about that yesterday. You don't know who these people are. And that's so true. You don't know who these people are. And uh, they're not your friends, and they don't care about you, and this and that, and everybody, oh, hey, I love you, yeah, whatever. When your true friends, my dad used to say this, you can count your real friends on your left hand and have like three extra fingers. Your real friends, the ones where you're down and out in Beverly Hills, and you need, you know, you're hurting, you need something, or you need help, and when you call for that help, they show up. Without question, that's friendship. That's relation. That's that's what it's all about. That's love. You know. That's compa- That's that's the real deal. How many people you know like that in your life? A, a past Pastor Darby used to talk about this. Oh, you think you got real friends on your internet? You got three thousand friends on there. Why don't you ask him for ten dollars? Ask him for ten dollars donation, whatever. See how many people give that to you. They're your friends, huh? Man. We throw that word around too much. My dad was right. Acquaintances. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Keep them at a level. Hey, nice to meet you. Hey. <laughs> Acquaintances. Look at my boy. Look at my boy having fun. Look at that kitty cat. <laughs> All this though, man. Look at how God has blessed me, man. This is ridiculous. I used to live on the top level of a barn on my parents' property for five years been poor most of my life (laughs) now you know granted not i've i've had i didn't i've had things growing up my folks done well for themselves but me personally when i got out at 18 poor most of my life now look at me i'm rich aside from the monetary stuff and the material stuff man i am rich look at this that's rich anyways i gotta go love you god bless